Five oh. games to love. Pam Caselli serving. Love five, I should say. She's serving to try to win her first game of the match. Yeah. And she has done it, and it must be a tremendous sigh of relief for her. Uh, Virginia Wade, awesome. this has been unbelievable yeah. stuff from Steffi Graff. Well, it's quite incredible because uh, all I've been seeing is just a stream of forehand winners and uh, maybe the odd one which misses by an inch or two, but she just plays the stuff that dreams are made out of this girl. There you are, one right on the line. Totally yeah. uninhibited tennis. She just goes for the ball, which is obviously the best way that you're ever going to hit a tennis ball, and they all go in. Steffi Graf serving for the first set at five games to one. She's seeded three in this tournament, but folks, I'll tell you something, I would not bet against her, and I mean that. She beat Martina Navratilova just over a week ago. German Open, she beat Hannah Manlikova, Andrea Temesvari, Golis, and Amy Holton in that tournament. And that's it, the first set for Steffi Graf. She has won it easily. We'll come back, though, and watch the second set. It is Steffi Graf and Pam Cassell, woman single. Welcome to Adventures in Insurance. Today we're with a man who lives in a golden palace. Tell us, sir, don't you worry that fire will strike and cause a meltdown? No, I got homeowner's insurance from the Hartford. Oh, the company with the moose. It's a stag. You see, for just a dollar extra, I got an option that pays what it actually costs to replace the palace, regardless of inflation, policy limits, or the price of gold. Fantastic. By the way, where'd you get the turban? It's a towel. I just washed my hair. Year after year, you'll like doing business with the Hartford, the insurance people of ITT. You'd never expect to catch a fish in downtown Austin. Yet that's the reason people come to the Austin Angler. One of the few places in Texas you can get a custom-made split bamboo fly rod and a fresh tied woolly worm to go on the end. So if you go there, remember, keep your rod tip up and put your visa card down. Because at the Angler, they don't take fishing lightly, and they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Yeah. While we were away, first point to Steffi Graf, love 15. First game, second set. This match has been underway for 14 minutes now. Well, you knew that was goodbye. You see her line up to the ball, and there's almost no way she's going to watch it. I mean, she had been out of position in the previous shot, and she got herself right back in position and made a win off that shot. The first set lasted not longer than 13, but 1-3 minutes. I don't know, because I don't keep track of these things, but that's got to be some kind of record. Thirteen minutes. Well, Steffi will take it either way. She Definitely hit a winner with that serve, and finally they got a, a, a long call on it, so it's two seconds serve. Love 40 game points, Steffi Graham. Nobody, no woman player has played even close to the kind of class that you're watching from Steffi Graf. She has a break in the second set. McLaughlin Travel, the longest established full-service travel agency in West Maui, sends their mahalo to everyone who has helped make them Maui's premier travel agency. To show their appreciation, McLaughlin Travel is now offering free passport photos for all their international travelers. If you're planning a trip abroad or if you know someone who is, save time and money by calling McLaughlin Travel, 667-6817. A journey of 10,000 miles begins with a single step. Make your first step 
with McLaughlin Travel. Job opportunities with the future. McCall Cablevision is now hiring entertainment representatives. If you are willing to work, have a neat appearance, and good verbal skills, you may be one of the people we are looking for. We offer you exclusive sales territory, extensive training, excellent compensation, and room for advancement here and throughout the nation. Join the dynamic team of McCall professionals that bring education, information, and entertainment into our homes. Call for more information today, 244-5576. Oh, my goodness. 6-1, one, one love. That was the first point of the second game. Second yes. set. Graf has a break of serve yeah. in the second set. Boy, she doesn't give us much time, does she? She's just hitting everything for winners or for drop shot winners. She's put in a whole series of those little backhand drop shot winners, too. And that's a major improvement. The topspin backhand and the variation with the drop shot. body just listen to this she lost to martina navratilova the virginia slims championship yeah, and since that time she has won every tournament that she's played in four of them hilton head family circle emilia island wta championships the u.s clay courts and the german championships that we talked about yeah. earlier beat everett lord in the final at the hilton head You cannot see which way oh, she's going to hit yes. that forehand. The ball sits there and she can go equally easily cross court or down the line or inside out. And her feet are so quick to get around that ball. Well, that's one of the few that she's missed. Turns around immediately. Very business-like, isn't she? The problem with that normally, and has been almost every time up to now, is that she knows she's going to get it in. You know she's going to get it in. And sadly, so does Pam Cassell. She's terrific. Pamela is Pamela's a real fighter and she is having trouble. She's not making for, um, unforced errors, she's only making forced errors. Uh, put that one down in the unforced error column. 40-30 for Steffi Graf against Pam Cassell from New Jersey and that's where she's still from. Born there and lives in New Jersey. Turn pro 1980 when she was 16 years old. Oh. Look at that. That just simply died. Well, you know, we call that a low percentage play because you're going to lose more of those than you win. But I guess when you're playing as well as she is and you have that kind of accuracy, the drop shot becomes a high percentage play when you Steffi Graf and you're on a roll. Pam Cassell beat Kate Gompert and Anna Ivan at the Amelia Island WTA Championship. She lost to Kathy Rinaldi in the third round. U.S. clay courts in Indianapolis. That tournament was on ESPN. She beat Molly Van Ostrom. Pilar Vasquez as well lost to Melissa Gurney. She had a good tournament in Houston too in a moment. Money's on with Virginia. It really is. I don't see. Watch it again here. That is one of the most difficult shots. And, you know, the, the difficulty is that she hits the ball so hard and then to suddenly go to this very soft pace. Good touch. This is a fourth round women's singles Canada. match live from Paris, the French Championships. Pam Cassell and Steffi Graf. Anne Manlikova earlier today won her match, so the winner of this match will play Hannah in the next round. That's the quarterfinal match, and I hope Hannah's not watching this because, boy, not something you'd like to see, is it, if you're going to play her in the next round? It's been 
interesting listening to the crowd because the crowd oh, has been simply yeah. in awe and letting out great bursts of applause for every winner that uh, Steffi has hit. And then finally they started giving Pam huge applause when she won the odd point. They're impressed. Oh. Pam Casal beat Gigi Fernandez, Elise Bergen and Zena Garrison. Three good ones in a row in Houston. This yeah. month, it's the last oh. tournament that she played in. Pam is a, one of the most tenacious players, especially in a clay court. She will fight to the bitter end. She has a tremendous backhand, dead flat. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wrong footed again. The thing is, how do you know? You have to almost, it's like playing against yeah. a big serve. You almost have to choose one way or the other. Watch it here on the replay again. You absolutely can't see which way she's going to go with that. Wrong-footed Pam. It's Deuce. Pam Casale's 22 years old. I said she turned pro when she was 16. She's 22 Ooh. now. And of course, Steffi Graf is still short of 17 years old. Couple of weeks' time, she'll be 17. Right. June 14, to be exact. We've been watching her since she was 13. She's always been one of the most promising young players. But, you know, one gets reluctant to put one's money on these young players because a lot of them fade out. But this is one who has a head on her shoulders and she seems to have all the ingredients necessary. She's the youngest player ever to get a WTA Hewlett Packard computer ranking at 214. That's when she was just 13 years old. 13 years and four months old. That's a record that may stay with her. Oh. Yeah. Because they've changed the rules now in both men's and women's tennis, I guess, to where you have to be certain ages. I'm not sure exactly what those ages are, but I'm not sure that you can play professional tennis anymore in 13 years. Well, it, it's a complicated rule, but you have limited... There are a limited number of tournaments that you can play at those ages before right. 16, 13, 14, 15. And I think it's a good idea. This is a break point. This would be for three love, second set. Oh, my goodness, she has broken again. Six games to one, first set for Steffi Graf. It's three games to love with two serve breaks. We're on court number one at the Stade Roland Garros in Paris, the French Championship. This is how Seiko changes time. faithfully pay your premiums, why do some insurance companies make you feel so guilty? I had an accident. Do you have an estimate? Two estimates? Three estimates. And a note from your mother? My mother? Leave it to the good hands, people. In most cases, all states will give you a settlement on the spot without three estimates or a note from your mother. How do we know it's her writing? Mm -hmm. You're in good hands with all states. A member of the Sears Financial Network. Love 15, Steffi Graf serving at three love. She's won 40 points total. 38 of them have been with forcing shots. And there's another one, make that 39. Unbelievable stuff. She beat Marcelo Mesco one round ago, 6-2-6-1. Gretchen Rush before that, 6-1-6-1. Andrea Betzner, 6-1-6 love. Add that up. 
to start. That's Can a total of pop. six games in three matches and add one game to that that Pam Cassell has won. She has lost a total of seven games and she's closing in on her fourth win of this championship. Watch that again, that excellent drop shot. And watch this one, very subtle play. If you played somebody who hit a streak of winners like this, you'd say if they always played like that, they'd be number one in the world. Right. And she does always play like this. And she may be number one in the world. She has beaten in the last four weeks, as we mentioned, Everett Lloyd, Coda Kilsch in a final, Sabatini in a final, and Navratilova just about a week ago. 23 matches in a row. is from Brühl, West Germany. Yeah. Boris Becker is good, but he is certainly not head and shoulders above the rest of the field, or most of them anyway, as is her countrywoman, Steffi Graf, both from West Germany. Boy, they are coming up with a few good ones, aren't they? Yeah, they've had this very good uh, system for training these young players, and it seems to be working. Structure is good there. Nobody's ever said there's been a weakness with her backhand. I certainly don't see it because this backhand has developed tremendously. She hits that slice with severity and then she puts in the touch shots. And she hits topspin as well. Four games to love, Steffi Graf, love 15. She only missed that because it shot off the far line. Germany, they have to finish 10 years of education, and she's still doing some by correspondence, but they have a very, very tough schooling system there. Oh. <laughs> well, she's given a few lessons of her own, isn't she, Virginia? Oh. She really is phenomenal, because you... you you know that she can pin that forehand on either line, or three lines. She's five foot eight. She weighs 116 pounds. She's actually grown into a very good physique. Yep. She's tall but lean and athletic. As I said, very quick on her feet. Quick hands, gets through the ball fast. Very determined tunnel vision, great concentration, but Pam Cassell has fought her way into the position of having the opportunity to win her first game of the second set. This will be, if she wins this point, the eighth game in this championship that Steffi Kreff has lost. You know, it's amazing. That return comes back practically before Pam has finished completing her own service action. Love for Deuce. Another game point for Cassell. When Steffi was 13, she won the German junior number 18 and under championships. 
And yet they say that one of the reasons she and her father, Peter, who travels with her as a coach, say that one of the advantages has been that she hasn't had all the attention on her like Sabatini has had. She's been able to concentrate and get on with the tennis and not distracted constantly with the media and the attention. But I think she can probably cope with it anyway. I think she would probably have the wisdom to know which to ignore and which to accept. Another game point opportunity missed by Pam Casal. Back to Deuce, four games to Loshi Trail. Second set lost the first 6-1. Steffi was in the U.S. Open semi-finals last year. She beat Pam Shriver in three tiebreaker sets. But all that pales in comparison to what she's been doing lately. That's phenomenal, isn't it, that return? I know. We saw Pam just the point before winning by serving and coming in and volleying and taking her a little bit by surprise, hitting a very good volley. But you can tell by her wins against people like Pam and Martina that she is also fine against Sir Volleyers. This long and Pam Cassell wins her first game of the second set. This is a fourth round women's singles match. In the next round, Hannah Manlikova will be her opponent. The Fairway Restaurant, located between Wailea's two championship golf courses, offers an outstanding dining experience. A salad bar and rich desserts complement the fine cuisine presented in a friendly scenic atmosphere. The continental menu offers prime beef, fresh Maui fish, and succulent sweet and sour shrimp. The chef, known to be a master with veal, offers a wide selection of tantalizing dishes. The Fairway Restaurant. Come and discover Wailea's best kept secret. Celebrating the life of Hawaii in art, David Warren exhibits his paintings, etchings, and monotypes at fine art galleries throughout the state, including these Maui locations. The Village Galleries Lahaina, Center Art Galleries Lahaina Ka'ana Pali, Gallery Makai Kihei, and Saxon Noble Fine Art Lahaina. Studio visits are always welcome. For appointment, call 572-1864. Fifteen low. No, make that low fifteen. Four games to one, draft serving. The thing about it, as I said before, is that when she lines for it, or when she lines up for it, you know it's going in. She knows it's going in, and the saddest part of all is if your opponent, you also know it's going in. She also knows it's going in, but not which side. That's right. Good shot. Pam Casal is ranked number 33 on the ATP, or at least the WTA computer. She's 22 years old. And 10 pro when she was 16. And Pam is no mean player. I mean, she's a good player. She's tough out here. Likes pace. Good. 
heard well a couple of errors from Steffi. Maybe yes, a little yeah. bit too much of a hurry to get things over. Look ahead for me, please, Virginia. Manlikova in the next round. How do you think Steffi will do against her? I think that Hannah will have to play particularly well in order to beat her. But I would actually think that it would be a close match and this young lady would win. Okay. That's a breaker serve for Pam Cassell. Four games to two. Steffi Graf leads now in the second set. One serve break separates these two. Pam Cassell. A little bit of a lapse of concentration, maybe, or just trying to do a tiny bit too much. Let's see how she pulls herself together again. I'm interested to see if she... If she slows down her shots and cuts back a little bit and starts to just uh, find the court because she's just lost her range or whether she's going to try to get her range back by just keeping going for it. That's super. She disguises that well, doesn't she? Pam Cassell reacts, oh, seems yeah. to react very late, and I guess it must be because she's disguising it. But she seems to hit it way out in front and then just take off the edge with her hand. Edge of the pace, edge of the ball. Yeah, yeah I got the line. line. The first round. Yeah. Pam Cassell beat Candy Reynolds, 6 love, 3 6 6 3. Then Annabelle Croft, 6-3-3-6-6-3. Good win. And Camille Benjamin. Another one. Tough three-setter. There it is again. And Pam is a hustler. She is not sluggish on her feet, so if she's not getting to those backhand drop shots, you know they're good. This is game point for Cassell. This is the most serious threat she's been to Steffi Graf all match long. Having just broken serve and now held on to serve, the score is four games to three. Steffi Graf in the second set, who won the first, easily six games to one. You're looking at the runaway winner in free travel plans. Northwest Orient. It's right here. Look at the score. Northwest Orient gives you free U.S. travel after 20,000 miles. On Delta, it takes you 40,000. On United, 50. American, 50. To Europe and the Orient, too, Northwest Orient's free flight plan is by far the most generous of these airlines. People who know the score. Go Northwest Orient. Little sharks and big sharks Shooting from the hip sharks Night sharks, bright sharks <laughs> Boogie through the night sharks <laughs> At Shark, we make everything from portable TVs to hi-fi video cassette recorders Sneak sharks, chic sharks Anything you seek, sharks Sharp VCRs and TVs From sharp minds come sharp products This is court number one at the Roland Garros Tennis Stadium in Paris, France. We are live. Women's singles. Steffi Graf with the winning overhead against Pam Cassell. Coming up later this afternoon, Mats Wielander, the number two seed here, and title holder, and Chris Everett Lloyd, also the title holder and number two seed. Well, Pam must have been happy to get a little reprieve from this onslaught. But it's a little bit late to get into the match. It is set and fall love down. So if Steffi holds on here, she's it's all over, I think. 40 love. This point for 5-3 for Steffi Graf. Number three seed there. Also at Roland Garros this afternoon, Ilya Telcher of the USA and Boris Becker, Steffi Graf's countryman. Shoot. 
this is here and then with that possible thing playing so well here now who speaks excellent english who we were talking about in the press room yesterday when you get one of these young foreign players in who needs an interpreter but just three years ago she was in there with her interpreter and now she's totally in command of tennis and the english language Zero. The 15, Pam Cassell from New Jersey. She's serving to stay in the second set of the match. It's a great serve. Better return. One point from match point for Steffi Graf. Steffi Graf easily 6-1, 6-3 goes into the next round of the women's singles. She is going to play in the next round. Hannah Manlikova, that should be a good one. Now, Mats Wielander is the number two seed in this championship. And they say this man, Chesnikov, can really play the game. Well, you're going to see those two up against each other later on this afternoon. We'll come back to the French championships in a moment. Chris Everett Lloyd has lost to this young woman earlier this year. Her name is Steffi Graf. She's won 24 in a row, and she's with Cliff Drysdale. Thank you, Jim. Steffi, you played very well today, but you don't feel that good, do you? Well, no, I have some kind of cold and had a little bit of temperature last, yesterday evening, so it's not so good. Are you taking something for it? Yeah, I have very much medicines at home. Yeah, the first set today you played extremely well, hardly missed anything at all. Yeah. Second set... You seem to lose concentration just for a couple of games. You lost one serve. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you're winning that easily, you sometimes you're not concentrated on every point too much. And I mean, it was not such a hard match, so it was okay if I lose one or two games. You're tired of the questions I know about it. 24 in a row. This is the biggest one. Of course, yes. you won four. Uh, so maybe it's different, but can you win it? Well, I'm feeling really well on clay, but I think it's much too early to say I can win this tournament. But, um, I mean, I'm satisfied already with coming to the quarters, and I'm really looking forward to the match against Hannah Madlikova. And I hope to play well against her and try to win. Tough section of the draw. If you beat her, yeah, that's you beat right. Chrissy. Martin well, in the final. <laughs> I mean, I'm not looking that far ahead, but I mean, I think the next match is going to be really hard. Clay your best surface? Well, I mean, I like to play also on hardcore, but in the moment I'm having so much success on clay, and I'm born, born on clay, so maybe it's my best. Just 16 years old, Steffi, it's a quick education for someone of your age, isn't it? Well, I mean, if someone would have told me that in such early years they're going to come that far, I mean, I never would have believed him. I would have said he's crazy, but I mean, even in the beginning of the year, I think everything was coming quite fast. Playing well, it looks to me like you can do it. Congratulations, and thank you for spending the time with us. Thanks. Back to you, Jim. All right, Cliff, and uh, that was live, and now we told you, showed you when we came on the air the results of the ongoing Christmas.